What's going on guys? Welcome to your 10th Java tutorial for my bring back again with me Travis. Uh, what we're going to learn about today is interfaces. And a lot of people don't talk about interfaces this early in like a tutorial or in like a book or anything. Um, but I wanted to get you guys familiar with it. So if you guys ever get confused in this tutorial or even the previous tutorial, um, know that I'm well aware of that and just stick with the series and you'll learn it. I just wanted to get you guys kind of familiar with it and somewhat explain what it does because it's kind of it's kind of confusing. Uh, it seems like it's pointless, but it's very useful. You can do better things with like polymorphism, which we'll get into uh, later big words we don't need that right now um, but uh, it also helps kinda organize things so you can think of it that way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and create a new interface right here right below class it's gonna be interface and we're gonna call this character uh, interface just so we we can remember hit finish and it creates it for us so as you can see the first thing that we notice is instead of this being public class character interface um, it says public interface so uh, we're gonna get into an interface what that is in a second but before we do that let's create a few more classes we're gonna create one called Travis which is our first character um, in our game make believe right now we're still learning Java a little bit but um, we're gonna create some other characters some people that help me out with my bring back so Jake and a TJ hit finish and uh, there we go we have three characters now now what a character what an interface does is it allows um, let me let me think how I want to say this uh, when you guys work on like a game or something generally like not one programmer works on it so an interface allows um, multiple programmers to kind of handle some methods or handle some kind of uh, yeah method we'll say um, a certain way without exactly knowing the whole big picture. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create some interfaces that's going to basically be like if a character get hit, gets hit, what will they say? Also maybe some like damage points or something like that. So what we're going to do is within our interface class, we're going to say int um, actually string because it's going to be this is what they're going to say when they get hit. Um, so we're just going to call this get hit um, and it doesn't take anything within its parameters and we just finish it off like that. We're also going to create another one that's going to be a int value and we're going to call this um, damage something like that and we're going to give it some parameters so we're going to give it two ints we're going to say current health and we're also going to give it another int uh, say the amount of damage that we receive so the first thing that you notice is you're like, okay, um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now. It's not a method because we didn't say void or anything. And uh, we also aren't defining it with brackets. But we also aren't setting this equal to anything. And this int called damage, we have some parameters on it or something. It kind of looks like a method. It's all whack. Like, what is going on? Like I said, I didn't mean to throw interfaces in your faces right now. But uh, we're going to figure this out. So let's just say I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to develop the interface for a character. I can set up some some kind of methods, as you can think of these as um, at the moment. Uh, just think of these as methods. I can set these up a ton of different things, you know, um, whatever. For now, we're only working with two. And then we can have another guy that's just programming Travis because Travis is a baller. He has the best health. He has all these things. He's like the star character. All the ladies want him, you know, pretty basic, um, but there's going to be a lot of programming for Travis because he's so awesome. And then there's another programmer that's programming Jake and TJ as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow all these users to kind of handle these methods in different ways without exactly uh, knowing the whole big picture. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into the Travis interface after we save everything. And again, this was called character interface. And we're going to say implements. Um, character interface and this is different than extends before we uh, last tutorial we worked with extends but now what we're doing is we're saying implement so it's gonna have to implement everything within this character interface so that's why we're getting an error right now 
um, because it has to implement all of the methods from this interface right here. So we can type out all those methods or just simply Eclipse allows us to hover over say add unimplemented methods click that as you can see we get some sort of method going on um, and again it's an override because we're referring to a superclass as you can think of it because um, we're implementing our character interface and so we have this override and it also returns some sort of value and for now if you guys get confused what this return is because we haven't really worked with that yet uh, no big deal I'll get to that in the next tutorial um, but what I want to show you guys is we can set up a string value I'm going to say Travis uh, got hit and uh, we're going to set the string equal to be system sorry we aren't going to do the system printout yet we're just going to set this string equal to be oh that tickled a bit and uh, that's what we're going to return again uh, this might be a little bit confusing because we haven't really got into the return statement yet but uh, we're just going to return that string and I'll again elaborate that in the next tutorial this return statement so um, you know it's like okay me I don't really know the interface that well um, most likely I would but if, if you guys were working on a team but uh, just implementing the interface if they're like hey implement the character interface for each each player so I'm like okay I'll implement it and then it gives me all these methods I'm like okay a string get hit um, they probably want that to be like some kind of saying or some kind of string after the player gets hit yeah that makes sense I'm gonna have it say oh that tickled a bit something like that and then for the damage I'll be like okay it gives us the current health it gives us the damage so we're just gonna say um, int or say new health is equal to our current health uh, minus the amount of damage done because again we're getting passed in these two other ints the current health and the damage done and that's what we're going to return the new health or we can even or we can even elaborate a little bit more so we can say uh, an if statement if new health is less than zero uh, or I'm sorry if new health is greater than zero then we can return um, we can return the current health else um, we're going to return uh, zero which so you guys can kinda of look over the code but for example if we had 200 health points and we got damaged 100 health points all it's going to do is going to set this new health variable equal to 200 minus 100 so it's going to be 100 for our new health and that's what we're going to return when the statement gets called but if we have 100 health and we get 200 damage points we're going to be negative uh, 100 so that's going to be less than zero so it's not going to trigger this this statement because that will be false so it's going to return this else statement uh, return zero and uh, you know that's just I think we went over the if else statement um, previously but uh, that's kinda how this works pretty simple um, but then let's say I'm a new pro I'm a different programmer that's programming for Jake and we can also just say oh yeah we're supposed to also implement um, implement the character interface and again we have to add all those unimplemented methods because when we again when we extended we could use um, some of the things from the class if we wanted to some of those methods but when we implement again we have to use those methods so we're going to add those and then me as a different programmer someone else than the person programming the Travis character can also kind of define this so we can also say like um, we can even just uh, since it's looking for a string we can just even say ouch that was painful something like that so now when Jake gets hit it returns this type of a string ouch that was painful and you know it also can do the damage however he chooses something like that pretty much the same way that we did previously right now the way it's set up is it's just gonna return zero no matter what uh, so pretty much anytime Jake is hit he's dead uh, automatically um, anytime this damage method gets called so that's kind of what it, uh, 
and interfaces, it allows us to kind of organize um, our coding. So we have some sort of organization for similar characters, uh, you know, or cars or something like that. It's a little bit confusing for brand new programmers and even programmers switching to Java um, over from like C++ or something. You're like, okay, I don't really get the point of um, these interfaces. So if you guys are completely lost, uh, that's fine. Once we get into using these more, uh, you'll understand more thoroughly and you'll understand why they are useful. Um, but as for now, I just wanted to give you guys a rough introduction to an interface. And uh, again, it's just for organization. And later we'll talk about poly polymorphism, um, probably later in the series. But that's basically it for this tutorial. So hopefully that kind of made sense. Um, again, just the interface, how you set it up is a public interface and then whatever your name is and then you don't really define what type of method like what the method does or anything like that we're gonna allow the programmer um, that uses this interface to handle how this method it, it works um, hopefully that made some sense if it didn't don't worry guys just stick with the series um, I completely understand I remember learning uh, myself so uh, if you get confused just stick with it and one day just gonna click and you're gonna be like wow how did I ever struggle with that before um, but as as for new programmers it is confusing um, even all this stuff that we've done can be pretty confusing so again just stick with it guys and I'll catch you in the next video have a good one